All right, folks, welcome back to Curtis Skills Corner. Well, 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 what do we have here? The Biden campaign not telling the whole truth? Huh, let's see. Biden campaign faces backlash for TV ad depicting Michigan tech CEO as struggling bar owner. The blind pig co-owner blamed President Trump, not Governor Whitmer, for his bar's economic downturn. Let's scroll. Is not telling the whole truth the same as lying? Uh, yeah, sometimes. The Biden team was under fire for releasing a TV campaign ad last week depicting a Michigan bar owner struggling to keep his business afloat during the pandemic. How in the world? Donald Trump closed down nothing. He doesn't have the authority. Well, the ad fails to mention this man is actually a wealthy tech investor who made contributions to the former vice president's campaign. No, really? He also supported Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer's stay-at-home orders that kept businesses shuttered longer. Huh. You mean like the town halls that the president was in and most of those people were plants? Huh. I don't know. Maybe a pattern here. Are they cheating or just lying? I don't know. It depends how you look at it, I guess. The ad, which was posted to YouTube on Thursday and aired Sunday on CBS during football games, features Joe Malcone, who was listed as the co-owner of the Blind Pig, a once popular bar and music venue in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I'll come blame his business economic downturn on Trump's coronavirus response. For 50 years, the Blind Pig has been open and crowded. Right now, it's an empty room. He says in the one-minute ad showing the empty venue. This is the reality of Trump's COVID response. He closed down travel from China at the end of January. Joe Biden, every single Democrat, called him xenophobic. Blah, 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 blah. Problem is, though, when things go bad and you're in charge, you get the heat. We don't know how much longer we can survive not having a rev- any revenue. A lot of restaurants, bars that have been... Mainstays for years will not make it through this. This is Donald Trump's economy, he continued. There's no plan. You don't know how to move forward. Everything's done through the governors. Moron. It makes me so angry. My only hope for my family and this business and my community is Joe Biden wins this election. That's the kind of person we need. <laughs> the ad also featured the song Sabotage by the Beastie Boys, marking the first time the group licensed one of its songs for use in a political advertisement. What Malcolm didn't say in the ad, here we go, is that there's a small chance he'll face financial ruin if the blinder pig goes under, given he's a prominent angel investor in several local tech companies. Really? He is? Wow. In an April tweet, Malcolm also praised Whitmer, arguing she's doing it right by continuing the state's stay-at-home order which sparked protests and forced businesses like the blind pig to remain closed longer. Oops, we couldn't access this tweet. Earlier this month, the Michigan Supreme Court struck down Whitmer's orders to continue extending Michigan's coronavirus-related emergency without legislative approval. The initial state of emergency was set to end on April 30th, and Whitmer used executive powers to extend it, which no governor has without the approval of the legislature of that state. It's not brain surgery. The blind pig briefly reopened in June, adhering to strict requirements such as requiring masks, enforcing social distancing, aggressive cleaning, and limited guests. But Malcolm told M Live in an interview at the time that he decided to cancel future live events for the summer, citing low attendance and difficulty communicating updated corona rules to the public. Now that we have tried it and saw it's not, it, it's really hard to communicate what it means to have a really social distance and live music show. We decided it's not really worth trying. The last thing we want is to be the epicenter of a new outbreak. Oh, God, what a humanitarian. What a beauty. I, I, can you believe this guy? I mean, what do you think? That's, nobody was going to find out? Really? After inheriting money from his wife's grandfather, which he likened to winning the lottery, Malcolm said he founded CKM Capital Partners in 2013 and eventually became an angel investor in local tech companies, according to a 2018 interview with Click on Detroit. He also served as CEO of Nutshell, 
a consumer relationship management software company since 2014. Under his leadership, the firm raised at least $5.5 million in angel and venture capital, according to the Crane's Detroit Business 40 Under 40 profile. Well, isn't that interesting? Uncle and Alpha co-founded Cahoots, a co-working tech hub, and purchased three buildings in downtown Ann Arbor to host entrepreneurs. According to the Federal Election Commission data, Alcone donated $5,000 to Biden for president in July. The Biden campaign and Alcone did not immediately return Fox's request for comment. <laughs> Do you think? Uh, they got to put that in. They, they got to call them and say, what's your comment? Or they'll say, you didn't call us. So they have to do it. So that's just the way it goes. Meanwhile, the Biden campaign also pulled a different TV ad after retired Lieutenant General Sean McFarland raised concerns about the picking an Army personnel in uniform and political messaging for either Biden or Trump before Election Day Political reported. The ad included photos taken in Iraq showing Biden walking beside McFarland, who led the fight against the Islamic State 2015 until 2016. A number of people have understandably inferred that my appearance constitutes an endorsement of the former vice president. It does not, McFarland wrote last week in a since-deleted LinkedIn post. To be clear, I have not endorsed President Trump either. I'm not a political person, but that isn't just. But this isn't just about me. I object to the use of any military personnel in uniform and political ads full stop. That goes for double the generals and admirals, even if they had since retired as I have. All right, I'll give him that. Fair enough. He served this country. He gets to the, he gets to make a comment like that. But you got to be kidding me, right? I mean, look at this. Another one. Another phony. Another con job. Another lie. My God, my God. I, I don't understand. They can't find people to do this? Really? Is that what the problem is? They can't find people to to tell the truth? Why? Because it's not Trump's fault. That's why he couldn't find anybody. It's amazing to me, amazing to me, amazing to me. And, of course, Michigan is a swing state. So we'll see what happens. Another BS commercial. Uh, what are you going to do? Well, folks, there you have it. Another, uh, another great article concerning our presidential election. I don't know whether to, whether to get mad or cry or just sigh. Anyway, folks, thanks for listening. Thanks for your attention. And until next time, goodbye and good luck.